the LEGO Technic NASA Mars Rover Perseverance has discovered plant life on Mars. This set is an excellent representation of space exploration done for all mankind. However, there are a lot of problems with this rover, which will be covered at the end of this video. The rover comes in a fairly small box, which contains 1,132 pieces, and the set retails for $100. It will be released on August 1st in the United States, but you can already buy it in Europe. There are four numbered bags, two sticker sheets, as well as the awesome instructions. There are six incredibly unique wheels, as well as two of the white turntable pieces. Here is the complete parts list of the set. The building process begins with the Ingenuity helicopter, which marked the first flight of a propeller aircraft on Mars. Next, the following cylindrical module is built up, along with a bunch of flat system panels. It is attached onto a Technic beam structure. A white panel section is constructed, and it essentially connects around the cylindrical module. Here we have a small frame with two axles. We need to put the axles through the system section, and then secure it here. Some beams are added, and then we build up a gear module contained inside a 7x11 frame. It simply expands the chassis of the rover. Following that, two panel sections with the new white turntables are added on either side of that large frame. The next stage begins with the following 90 degree gear module. It connects to the chassis and you can see how the axle has come together. This massive white panel module is constructed and it is placed on the bottom of the chassis. Some small sections are added on the sides and then we add this linear actuator which has gears connected in quite a strange way. It connects to the white triangle and look at that simple but effective mechanism. Then we add a cover on top of here. As you can tell, there is a lot of hollow empty space inside. A hand of God steering knob is added and a panel on the front is secured to cover up the mechanisms. A small beam is added with a sticker of the flag of the world's best country and a moving section of the suspension is added on top. Now comes the fun part, which involves building the legs for the wheels. It starts just by connecting two black modules together. We add some more beams to extend it forward. An axle with a universal joint as well as a four tooth gear are added here. We extend out the axle and as you can see, everything is connected with these gears. This section simply connects to the right side of the chassis and a linker connects it to the moving section on top. It moves in an absolutely beautiful way. We build up another leg section for the other side and after we connect it, we can start building the wheel attachment modules. These are connected to the legs with some four tooth gears. Three wheels are added to each side, the camera is built up and it connects right over here. This piece, which represents a wire, is secured. An arc section adds over here here, we build up a gear module which connects to the front of the rover. A gear with an axle as well as a worm gear are connected here, we add some beams and then a drill is added to the end. Before we take a closer look at the functions, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. I will be motorizing this rover as well as the John Deere Skidder and the Blue Bow Lead, so make sure to subscribe for essential LEGO Technic content. No pressure though no pressure. There is a hand of God steering knob on top and if it's in the front, you can use it normally to make the rover turn either left or right. Both the front pair as well as the rear pair of wheels move. However, if you bring it back, the front and rear wheels will fully turn by 90 degrees, allowing the rover to turn in place. This is easily my favorite feature of the set and it's a great way to show how the turning system works in the real Perseverance rover. Look at how beautiful the suspension is. It should work very well, right? Wrong. Let's drive the set over a small rock, something that is very easy for most Technic off-roaders. Well, the front wheel goes over the small rock without any problems. The central wheel struggles, and it requires human assistance to go over the rock. Otherwise, look what happens. As you keep pushing the rover forwards, the rear set of wheels goes back. However, once you help the middle wheel get over the rock, the back one has no problem conquering the rock. This problem with the suspension would not be as bad if the wheels were powered and driving the rover, but in practice, when you're pushing the rover with your hands, it is not a very enjoyable experience. Also, Due to the gear backlash, the wheels can sometimes turn in undesirable ways while driving this rover. That is why I absolutely do not recommend you take this rover off-roading, you just won't have a very fun time. You should only drive this on relatively flat surfaces so that the suspension does not run into any problems. The wheels are held to the black legs with nothing more than friction between the axle and the four-tooth gear. As a result, it is incredibly easy to pull out the wheel module and they have fallen off quite a lot while I was playing with the set. 
The next functions I would like to address involve the front drill. The back has two knobs. The knob on the right controls the drill side to side using a small linear actuator. After the drill moves forward, we need to use our hands to unfold the beams. Then we can adjust the drill by articulating it about the Hero Factory style ball and socket joint. Following that, we can use the knob on the left to lower the drill into the newly discovered plant life. I love how the mechanism to raise and lower the drill is exposed, since moving gears are absolutely beautiful. Although, this does raise the question, why are there two knobs at the back instead of just one? In many previous Technic sets like this, where there were multiple axle activated functions, there was always only a single control knob with the distribution gearbox switching the functions. There should absolutely have been a gearbox in the set since there is just so much hollow empty space inside. I will definitely modify the set to have a gearbox, much like how I modified the much smaller heavy duty excavator to have a gearbox instead of two separate control knobs. A gearbox would have been a great redeeming quality of this set. The camera is gorgeous and can be fully articulated up, down, left and right. The best part about the set is easily the augmented reality app. Upon loading the rover part of the app, a beautiful video is played showcasing the landing on Mars. You can take rock samples, store them and do all kinds of wonderful stuff. As if you're the one commanding the mission. It truly is an amazing experience and I think that the augmented reality app should be brought to every single LEGO Technic set. I had even more fun with the augmented reality app for this set than I did for the pullbacks, which were already extremely fun. I think that, as a concept, a Perseverance rover is absolutely fantastic. The execution, however, was certainly not the best. The lack of a gearbox isn't even that big of a deal in this set. The main problem of this set for me is the poor suspension and drivetrain, where the wheels can just fall off randomly. They should have been secured in a better way, and the rear section of the suspension should have had some kind of limiters, so that this sort of thing would never happen. Despite its flaws, I'm just so glad that we got another space set in LEGO Technic, because the last one was released all the way back in 1996. Will you be getting this set? Please let me know in the comments below. This is your Unbreak Me here and I'll see you in the next one.